So Mary Hannon Bonnet, I'm a resident doctor and senior clinical transformation specialist at North Bristol NHS Trust. This is my presentation on removing human delay for Let's Do Digital 2024. It was designed in conjunction with the Learning Disability and Autism team with special thanks to the clinical systems team at MBT. The Learning Disability Improvement Standards have set out to reduce deaths in people with learning disability in NHS hospitals. Our Learning Disability and Autism team need to review to patients at the point of attendance and admission in order to meet this standard. Patient-facing clinicians need to identify the Learning Disability and Autism and then make timely referrals to the Learning Disabilities and Autism team. So what was the aims of our project? It was to assist the Learning Disability and Autism team in that early identification of their patients. We needed to remove the clinical cognitive burden in recognition and action by the referring clinicians. We wanted to highlight the location of the patient and location of contents of the hospital passport so that reasonable adjustments could be made early. And we wanted to incorporate these alerts into BI encoding to improve the trust reporting and for payment of services. So what were they doing beforehand? The uh, learning disability and autism team would perform a manual daily tag search of a cohort of 330 patients. The traditional referral made by the clinicians was showing 35 referrals a month with a peak referral time of about 10 a.m. which was a delay of 2 to 12 hours from admission to referral. So then what did we do? In conjunction with the learning disability and autism team, we migrated old alerts from legacy systems and then we created a new alert with a push notification enabled for the uh, learning disability and autism team. In the background, we kept the traditional referral method ongoing and we set up with BI encoding a report to improve um, billing and um, improve the standard operating procedures and training for the learning disability and autism team. You can see that this um, example of the alert would show the um, information with regards to reasonable adjustments and potentially some information that would be helpful for our clinicians. So after we implemented this um, new alert, we found that the learning disability and autism team could review their patients three hours earlier. They had an increased efficiency um, and reasonable adjustments could be made much earlier and clinicians were signposted the right information. They could find the hospital passports and um, understand um, what their patients' needs were. We found that there were 160 push notifications per month, which is consistent in month on month, with 80 individual patients per month. This captures more than twice the traditional referral method. And we've got early data to show that we've found a slight reduction in deaths over two years. Many thanks.